Holy jeez. Canadians have witnessed scenes similar to these from the 1996 Helen Hunt blockbuster Twister. But rather than viewing them on the silver screen, some were able to look outside of their windows. It just flew by in the back of our house. I woke up by the, the house shaking. Thursday saw tornadoes touch down just outside of Ottawa and Montreal, with roofs torn off and cars battered and beaten. The Northern Tornadoes Project is a group that has been gathering data on Canadian twisters since 2017. They say before they started collecting information, there were reports of around 60 tornadoes annually. But the team says the actual numbers are at least twice as high. We've been finding these increases in numbers uh, through using advanced technology such as drones, satellites, aircraft, uh, to be really searching for these tornadoes in areas of low population density. The tornadoes that reach Canada are generally category EF2 or lower, meaning wind speeds slower than 217 kilometers per hour. But on Canada Day, Alberta saw an EF4 just north of Calgary. A dozen homes were seriously damaged or completely destroyed. Well, Alberta, we get these small um, tw twisters. So I was not expecting anything major like this. Upon uh, arrival, we found that this was a total disaster. The Northern Tornadoes Project says it was the strongest recorded tornado in Alberta since 1987. Meteorologists say more data is needed before they can link climate change to more extreme twisters. Anywhere that there are thunderstorms, we are at risk. Um, and, you know, we are at mid-latitudes, um, you know, around 45 degrees. Since June 13th, the Northern Tornadoes Project has recorded data on more than two dozen events across the country. Kyle Benning, Global News.